This guy here made this app, which makes $12 million a year. And today we're gonna to completely rebuild this app from scratch for free in just a matter of minutes. You don't need any coding experience or technical experience whatsoever. All you need is a free Google account since we're gonna be using Google's new AI Studio coding tool. So this app is called Cal AI, and what it allows you to do is take a photo of your meal and it's gonna give you a complete nutritional breakdown of that meal. And this is what we're gonna be rebuilding today. So to get started, we will want to Google Google AI Studio. And we're gonna see this here, and we're gonna click inside and we're gonna to come to the Google AI Studio. From here, you can do a load of different things, but we're gonna to want to look for build on the left hand side. You might come to the home. I automatically go to the chat because I use that a lot. Uh, you might come here, but what we want to click on is the build. So once you're here, you're gonna see this, and this is where we can simply type in what we want to create and we can build it just like that. This is a free alternative to Lovable, to Bolt, to V0, to Cursor, and it just works just like that. And one great thing about it as well is that it automatically connects to Google's APIs, which means, as we're about to see, that when we build something which uses AI, we don't have to connect it to any external APIs. It will simply use your Google's API in order to facilitate whatever AI features you want to build. So let's do that now. So we can see here, we can add in certain things, but we don't need to do that. So within here, I'm going to use this speech to text to describe what I want. Please can you create me an app where the user can upload a photo or take a photo of a meal and AI will take that photo of a meal and it will uh, break down how many calories are in that meal. And it will also break down the macros such as the protein, the carbs, the fat that are in that meal. It should look really good and be super user friendly. Okay. That's going to be done. We're going to wait a second for that to upload in there and transcribe all of that. Um, there we go. So very simple. Uh, let's send that off and see what we get. Now, a lot of the time when you're vibe coding things, it's not going to work the first time. Uh, you're going to have to you know, do a little bit of back and forth. But I have found that with Google's AI Studio's vibe coding tool, it actually does work pretty well. And this is using Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is a pretty strong model when it comes to coding. Again, doesn't hit the nail on the head every single time, but as we're about to see, it should be pretty good. So on the left-hand side, we can see that it's using a reasoning model to go out and think about what it should create. And we can click into this and we can see all of the reasoning behind what it's doing. And then below that, we can see it's actually creating the files for this project. And over here, if we click on code, we can actually see the code behind this project uh, being produced, which means that if we want to export this from um, Google's platform and you know host it ourselves, then we can do that. And it's very simple to do. And if we want to deploy this through GitHub, then we can also do that with the save to GitHub feature up in the top right hand corner. Okay, so there we go. It has taken less time than I thought, probably about 45 seconds. And um, it's now just asking me to confirm that this app can use my camera. And I can say, yep, that's fine. And we've got this. Now this looks pretty good. Like if you've been using some of the other um, vibe coding tools out there, sometimes they're not that good on the design front, but this is looking pretty good to begin with. So I'm gonna click on upload photo and I'm gonna go to my photos and I think somewhere um, I've got a picture of some salmon. Yep, there we go, fantastic. Upload that and you can see it's uploaded, analyze meal and off we go. It's gonna analyze the meal and what this is doing, we can have a look at it in a second, is that it's gonna take this image and it's gonna send it off to AI and it's gonna come back with the breakdown. So we can see here, that's what we've got here. We've got calories, we've got protein, we've got carbs, we've got fat. Now, I don't really know too much about nutrition, um, so I don't know if this is bang on accurate, but I think it's it, it sounds reasonable, right? If you're actually building a production app, you wanna do some more testing to make sure that, you know, what it's producing actually is correct. But you know, I think that's about there. So this has pretty much nailed it just within one shot. This is doing exactly what I wanted it to do and exactly what Cal AI is doing, an app that does $12 million a year. And we've created it in you know, a matter of seconds really, rather than minutes. But let's change it a little bit. So over here, I wanna say, um, great, but can we make a change so that it also shows the recommended daily intake of each of those macros and also for the calories. We'll send that prompt off and you can see it's gonna go and do its thing. And it probably takes, you know, about a minute or so. It is relatively quick compared to some of the other vibe coding tools out there. But you can see that we can edit anything that we want to just via text. Essentially what you can do with any other vibe coder. But as you can see, this is super easy to use. Plus we're not having to pay for any of this. This is completely free and I'll show you in just a second. We can actually launch this onto the web so that anyone can view it absolutely 
for free. So there we go, it's thought for 26 seconds, it has then made some changes, it has told you where it has made those changes, and if you want to, you can go into the code, but if you have no idea what's going on here, not a problem, you do not need to understand any of this. We can just simply look at the preview. So if we now do the same thing, so go upload photo, and I find that same picture of salmon, upload that, and go analyze, it's gonna take a second, it's sending it off to AI, and uh, it's gonna come back and hopefully we're gonna see some changes. And there we go, we can see some changes here and it's got a little bar to show how much of our daily allowance that is um, taking up. So for the calories, it's recommending we have 2000 a day and 640 is you know about that. Same with the protein, same for carbs, same for fat. And you could really easily make more changes to this, such as put in your, your age and your weight and your gender so that it knows more specifically what these goals should be here. You can add like a database to it so it can track all your meals rather than just do one at a time. There's so many different things you can do here and it's all super easy. And let me hop in here and say that if you do wanna learn more about Google's AI Studio or about any other form of AI and applying AI to your business, then my Applied AI Mastermind might be the right place for you. We have a ton of video courses in there, over 2,000 automation templates that you can just drag and drop and start using within seconds, plus daily updates on everything that's happening in the world of AI and support from me. If you're interested, I'll leave a link down in the description and back to the video. Okay, so let's say that you have played around with this and you've got this working and you've changed a few things, now it's working exactly how you want it to. How do we put this on the internet? How do we put it on the web so that other people can use it? Well, all we have to do is go over here and click on deploy app. You can see this rocket icon over here. Now, in order to deploy the app, we have to have a Google Cloud project. I already created one as a test, uh, but I'm gonna create another one just so we can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go Cal AI test and create that project. Now, we can see it says new project created, which is good. And all we need to do is set up a billing. Now, it's not actually gonna bill you, but we do need to set up the billing. So if we click on set up billing, then it's gonna take you over to Google Cloud and it's gonna say that you have no billing connected at the moment. So we simply want to link a billing account. And if you don't already have one, you want to create a billing account within Google Cloud. But if you do, as you can see, I have several here, simply select one, click on set account, and that should be it. Give it a second. And yep, here we can go, it's loading all my details. You can see on this billing account, there's just nothing going through it. Um, so, you know, there's nothing to see there. But if we go back over here, um, I think we have to reload this in order to deploy it. So if I just come over here and uh, reload this page, if we go over to deploy and select that cloud project again, uh, and it's gonna verify it, it's gonna find that we've connected billing, then we can deploy our app. And it's gonna take a couple of minutes to deploy. And when it does deploy, it's gonna give you a URL and you're gonna be able to go to that URL and see this in action. So one thing to be aware of is that even though we can deploy it for free, if you're using any AI features within the app itself, you are gonna be paying for those, uh, those API calls to whatever um, AI model you're, you're using. And therefore, yes, you can deploy it for free, but when people use it or when you use it, you are gonna be billed for those API credits. And by default, all of the uh, models that are used are Gemini models. You can um, set up separate APIs so they use different AI models. However, the AI actually used to uh, build the app itself has to be a Gemini model. And there we go, we've got app successfully deployed and we can see the URL here and we can click it. And you can see I am not within Google's workspace or anything, this is just a website. Yes, it has a horrible URL, and yes, you can put it on your own domain, but this is live that anyone can go to and anyone can use. Depending on uh, when you're viewing this, this might be live now, or I might turn it off. I don't really want a load of people ringing up my uh, AI bill. But if we go and find that image of the salmon or any other um, food that you want, we can analyze meal, and you can see this is the actual live website working now. It's gonna analyze the meal, and it's gonna come back and it's gonna give us our information. There we go, calorie breakdown, exactly what we built. And if we want to, we can come back into Google's AI Studio and not just ask for changes, but ask how it works. So we can say, uh, don't change anything, but uh, tell me how this works from a high level. What APIs are we using? And we're gonna send that off and it's not gonna change anything just as we described, but it's gonna think about it and then it's gonna come back with an answer. So even if you don't know what's happening in this app that you've built, you could ask it and you can just go into as much detail as you want. If you really wanna understand how the code is working, you can click into the code and say, okay, on the uh, index page, what, what are these bits of code doing here? And you can copy and paste these bits of code in and it'll explain everything to you. So we can see here, 
Um, it's given us a lot of uh, information about what's happening here. So it's a single page built with React. We are uploading a photo. Uh, it's then going to preview the photo. Uh, it's going to analyze it. The photo is converted into Base64. Then um, uh, we are sending it over to Gemini to analyze the image. It identifies the food, estimates the nutritional value, and sends it back in the JSON format. And then you can see the API is being used. We are using Google Gemini's API here. We are using a file API. We're using media capture and URL API. I don't really know uh, much about any of these here. I'm assuming they're Google properties or Google APIs. Not really too sure here, but the great thing is you do not need to know. You can get an app just like the one that's doing 12 million a year built in seconds, well, minutes or seconds, um, for free using Google's new Studio AI. So go out there, give it a try. That's it from this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.